walking around with Mama Champ. What's up? Hey, Chabaz. I'm going to talk to Mama Champ here, see what he has to say. He jumps, he smiles, and he's like, yo, I'm stretching out. And I'm like, yo, this is interesting. At least you're not a female, Mama Champ. That just creeps me the hell out. Anyway, um, I finally have a Wi-Fi battle after like three weeks. Um, I'm going back to my old format using the uh, no cash GPA emulator. Uh, just gives me better quality and it's easier to manage. The iPhone's camera though is great, so uh, leave me a comment on which you prefer. I can easily just record them on my heart gold or keep sending it to my friend and he edits them. But anyway, I have an overused battle here today against uh, DJOT, aka his name is Fail something something or other. And this was in the uh, XAT chat. I lead with my champ and he leads with a hippo. And I punch it in the face. Cause I'm faster, but unfortunately for me, even through the confusion, he gets the rocks up, so whatever. My team isn't too worried about rocks. It does kind of hamper me, but I'm not worried about it. I've been away from the game for a while, so I'm kind of like iffy, but right there I make a primo prediction, expecting a ghost to come in to resist a second dynamic punch. I throw out an ice punch, just in case it was Blizzcore 2. And I was right, I bullet punch it, just getting damage on it, knowing he's probably going to get me later, but I get a crit, so cool story, bro. <laughs> and I'm off to a really good start. Out comes Celebi, and I'm thinking I can live a psychic. Um, I didn't think he'd be invested heavily in a special attack, but unfortunately for me, it turns out he's modest, and he has life orbs, so whoopsie-daisy. Down goes my champ, and it's alright. Send out Jirachi. I'm gonna outspeed. He probably thinks I'm a normal Jirachi, and I U-turn, predicting an Earth Power or something to hit Jirachi kinda hard, or cripple him, so I switch out to Gliscor. I don't kill the U-turn, but I avoid a Thunder Wave and Sandstorm. Thanks to his hippo, I was gonna take down his Celebi. So, good prediction on my part. I'm not as rusty as I thought. <laughs> but out comes Infernape. I'm thinking obvious Hidden Power Ice, but I should've just stayed in and taken a close combat, because this close combat does an ass ton to my uh, Kingdra which is the Rest Talking Kingdra, which I've really been wanting to try out. I had good success with it on the ladder. I want to try it on Wi-Fi. But as much as that did, I'm thinking it's choice. So I'm going to go out to my Gungar, thinking it's choice, under the assumption it is. And thankfully I'm right. He closed combats, which is going to net me a free sub. Although this set doesn't work its best in Sandstorm, because Life Orb Recoil and Sandstorm. He brings in his Hippo, thinking I'm going to, like, going to Thunderbolt or something. I don't know. I could have just threw out a Shadow Ball, but I wanted a free sub. I Pain Split, thinking he doesn't have anything to hit me. Because, I mean, usually they carry Toxic, Slack Off, Earthquake, and Stealth Rock. That's what I was thinking. But unfortunately for me, he has the Ice Fang, which will break my subs. Thankfully, I've gotten it low enough where Shadow Ball is going to be a definite two-hit KO. But I'm going to take at least one Ice Fang. Although now, looking at it, after the Shadow Ball, I should have just... uh throughout two. I didn't really necessarily need the sub, but it did let me scout, so more or less that was a good thing. I don't know, whatever. So Shadow Ball's going to be two at KO, but due to Life Orb recoil and the fact that I'm no longer behind a sub, my Gengar is very vulnerable. vulnerable. <laughs> Being tongue-tied is awesome because you can't talk properly. But anyway, out comes Starmie. I'm going to lose the speed uh, race here because 361, but he throws out a Thunderbolt. He gets hit the Sandstorm. I don't see Life Orb. I'm thinking he might be Choice Scarf, so I, on a risk, bring in my Gliscor, and he switches out, confirming the Choice item, giving me a free Earthquake on anything he brings in. And he brings in Infernape, so he's obviously saving something last that doesn't want to take an Earthquake, and it doesn't kill. I'm like, God, why didn't I get rocks up? <laughs> but thankfully, his Sandstorm's doing what my rocks should have been doing, and, you know, confirming kills. So he brings out Stargazer. I'm thinking he's going to want to throw out a Surf, so I switch into Calypso as Death Fodder, but he throws out a Grass Knot. So once again, my uh, over-prediction is costing me a little bit. I'm still comfortably ahead, and I bring out Heatran, because I know he's choiced, so I get a free sub, but unfortunately this is not my sub Life Orb one. This is my s subbing Torment Tran, so whoopsie-daisy again. 
Now, typically the Jolteons I've been used to fighting are choiced, so I was under that assumption, which was why I was kind of like, why is he throwing out a Shadow Ball, and why did it break my sub? And I was like, oh, critical hit. So I tormented, thinking he's choice, but again, since I didn't see Life Orb damage, and I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. I, I can just set up a free sub here. Turns out, he's, I think, after a, a little bit later, it's confirmed that he's the uh, Charge Beaming set with Wise Glasses. Thankfully, my special defense investment lets me take that Thunderbolt kind of nicely, just enough to get a sub up, but it leaves me dangerously low. So if he's going to start Charge Beaming, I'm praying for no freaking uh, special attack boost while I plume him to death. It should be a 2-bit KO with Sandstorm. And he didn't get the special attack boost, and I'm going to get some lefties here. I'm going to start protecting just to stall him out. Um, he Thunderbolts. Cool. Not going to break my sub even though any attack he has right now will break it due to the uh, charge beam earlier. So he shadow balls. Gonna break my sub. But I'm in a comfortable range where I can just plume it to death. And I'm gonna get some lefties recovery here. And he's down to his last, which is a choice Scarf Starmie, which unfortunately does cause my team a little bit of problems. Because he's probably gonna throw out just the safe surf. I'm gonna scout just to make sure. Which, duh, is heat trend. So, two of my last three guys can be hit pretty hard. I'm going to protect again. Risky, I know, just to stall it out a little bit more. And I get the lucky two turns of protect. I get some leftovers. And I don't know, I think my special defense could live one surf. Or so I thought. But I won't find out now. So, because another crit, which makes up for that crit on Gengar earlier. So, whatever. At the Sandstorm damage, and Jirachi's decent bulk will be able to take three Surfs, and Thunder Punch should KO it, so good game, dude. I had fun. Um, I'm going to start posting more consistently now, so my 56 subs, you know, thanks guys for sticking around and hanging with me, I appreciate it. Freaking Stealth Rocks would have confirmed that kill, but hey, gives me more time to talk. Uh, comment this video, whatever you feel it deserves, and bye.